Shalom was Gamali Allah, I great out of great lust on Atlanta, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all that I cannot push out this truth and sincerity. All right, this is a quick lesson. All right, um, as you see here on your screen, okay, um, you know, it's a picture of a uh, chariot, which is a so called UFO. All right, and it says, um, I'm sure things will go back to normal by July. And it has a picture of July. All right, now, um, you know, someone had posted this. You know, and um, I guess these people mean it <laughs> in a sarcastic way as to say that, you know, uh, the way the world is, you know, the, the way um, things have been going lately in the world. All right. You know, the, the next thing to look forward to is, you know, a so-called UFO, <laughs> you know, appearing, you know, which, um, you know, really isn't far off. From what's what's gonna happen you know really really that this is what's gonna happen you know all right um, it's revelations 1 and 7 behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him all right now who is this talking about it's talking about Yahweh Shai all right and it says he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him now um, you know, in order for every every eye to see Yahweh Shai in the heavens, okay, you know, the size of that chariot has to be humongous, okay? It has to be bigger than the earth, okay? In order in order for you to see, see the chariot, you know, in each hemisphere, okay? It has to eclipse the earth. It says, and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. All right. And all these people are going to wail because of Yahweh Shah, his presence. All right. You know, and, uh, you know, these people are going to be bugging out. All right. But, um, you know, this is what uh, we call the fathership. All right. Which Yahweh Shah is going to come, you know, on a, on a very gigantic chariot. Okay, you know, and um, you know, like I said, the the way things are going, okay, people are starting to understand that <laughs> we're in the time of prophecy, and that things like this is very much so possible. You know, a chariot cracking the clouds and and appearing on Earth, people are starting to realize that this is very, very possible. All right. Uh, let's get um this is uh first Thessalonians first Thessalonians four and sixteen it says for the Lord for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel arch archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Okay, so this is talking about Yahweh Shai, you know, coming on earth. And it says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Okay. Now, what these people don't understand is that the, the chariots of the Bible, all right, which are the UFOs, they're the, the vehicles of our salvation. Okay. These are how the chariots... And the so-called UFOs are how the uh, the elect are going to be delivered. Okay, they're going to be beamed up in the chariots, Lord willing. I'm of that number, Lord willing. You know, men of uh, great millstone are of that number. Really, you know, men that are that are sticking to the doctrine. Okay, sticking to the doctrine that great millstone through the apostles on down and the elders have set forth. But it's not so much about being in Great Millstone, it's about the doctrine, and it's about following the true doctrine of Yahweh Shai, okay? And um, it says, then we which are alive shall and, and shall remain, and, and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, okay? All right, so, 
Yahweh is going to come on this gigantic chariot and the elect is going to meet him in the air. You know, and that's going to be a beautiful thing. All right. This chariot, if a chariot is bigger than the earth. Now, the apostles brought this up, you know, um, before on video, which is, uh, you know, <clears throat> we could all be beamed up in one gigantic chariot. Okay, because it says, uh, let me go back. It says, uh, <clears throat> First Thessalonians 4 and 16. It says, uh, verse 17, Then we which are alive shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. <laughs> okay, to meet the Lord in the air. So, you know, um, you know, it may it may be separate chariots, it may be one large chariot, but hey, it's still salvation. You know, it's still salvation, and it's still brought up, brought upon us by the heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai and His Son, all right, which is Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, so um, got some more. This is Acts. Acts 1 and 9. Uh, I started 8. And ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and, and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay. <laughs> You know, so further proven that this is the instrument of salvation. Okay. You know, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Okay, Yahweh Shai said a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay. So, you know, um, and chariots are throughout all the scriptures. You know, there's so many scriptures dealing with the chariots. You know, and um, you know, I'm gonna get this because they're sooner than we think. Okay, these chariots are coming very soon. You know, um, our salvation, I'll say, is coming very, very soon. It's around the corner. All right, so that's why, you know, we gotta be hard, go hard, and and continue to push this thing. So that we can push these prophecies so that so that this prophecy can happen. Okay? Yahweh Shai cracking the clouds and judging the earth. Alright? And these people can feel it. These people know that there is uh, you know, they call them aliens, but they know that there is uh other life out there, so to speak. Alright? Romans 13, 11, and knowing and that knowing the time. That now it is high time to wake awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Okay. All right. So our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right. You know it says, "I'm sure things will be back to normal by July," and then July rolls around, and it's a it's a major cherry. You know, <laughs> so this thing is nearer than we believed. You know, people are starting to wake up. It says, "Now is the high time to wake out of sleep," so people are starting to wake up. And this is a person, the person that posted this, you know, they're not deep at all. They're not spiritual, uh, you know, as, as I know of, you know, but <laughs> regular people are starting to consider this, you know, as, as a, as, as a, um, as being possible. Okay. You know, by July. So people people can see it coming soon. People can see it happening quickly. A lot of people understand that we're in the end times. All right. These people understand that that there is there are UFOs out there. Okay. The government actually, you know, has has spoken. They uh declassified it recently. Okay. They uh they basically spoke about. You know, um, you know, they mentioned a lot about the UFOs, you know, in, in recent months. Okay, this is uh 
Let's do another one. Um, let's get uh, select it one moment. Um, Psalms 21 and 5 His glory is great in thy salvation Honor and majesty Hast thou laid upon him Okay Talking about the Lord And his glory is great Matter of fact uh, I'll start at 21 um, The king shall Joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he, how shall he rejoice. Okay? And this is talking about, a, this is a psalm of David. Okay? But <laughs> that salvation is, is very key. Okay? We're going to rejoice when we, receive that, when we receive that salvation. Okay? We, we're going to be, you know, ecstatic to meet with Yahweh Shai face to face. You know, so that he can give us a crown. You know, let's see. Uh, let's get that. Revelation. Um, 2 and 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt, shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tri tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right, so the point being, like I was saying, is we want to receive that crown of life. Okay, we want the Lord to have mercy on us and not to, you know, bring judgment upon us. Okay. And it says, um, it says, uh, where did I go? Lock it one moment. Uh, yeah, so the point being um, is that this thing is getting ready to happen. All right, you know, we're looking for for that salvation. Okay, we're looking for you. How shy? You know. That's why it's important to repent and to to you know continue to be in the good graces of the Most High, all right, so that He doesn't bring judgment. Okay. Um. Yeah, um, the crown of life. And it says, uh, verse 10, and I will give thee the crown of life. All right. So we want that crown of life. We want Yahweh Shai to pardon us of our sins and to give us glory. All right. And that's why we push so hard. That's why we do lessons. You know, most of these people are going to be bugged out when they see a, a UFO. But we're going to be excited. Okay. You know, we're going to be excited. You know, we're going to be happy and ecstatic. You know, we're going to be praising the Lord. Okay. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And and we have the knowledge of the fact that Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect. We have knowledge of that. We have understanding on that. Okay. You know, so so that's what we want. We want Yahweh Shai to go ahead and bring judgment on the earth, okay? Because the closer that he brings judgment, the closer these prophecies get, you know, the closer they get together, all right, you know, like uh, like um, contractions, you know, the more frequent it happens, okay, the, the sooner we'll be out of here, 
and the sooner you know we'll see a lot you know we'll see many chariots large chariots you know everywhere you know which there's like i said there's a lot of chariot sightings already all right but the lord is amping it up the lord is getting ready to make his move on this place all right so a lot of people are are able to see that that a ufo you know hovering over wherever that is times square okay basically these people can see that 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 <laughs> this that that it's the lord doing these things and that you know something is is something big is getting ready to happen that's what these people understand that something big is getting ready to happen you know all right, so um, you know, with that, I'll close up, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom.